How you doing? On this uh, 3100 or 3.1 engine on GM vehicles, I'm doing a water pump uh, replacement. Okay, the location of the water pump is right here. It's behind this pulley here. In between there, it's a little small pump, kind of easy to get to. First thing you want to do is drain the engine coolant. What I did was I removed, you can see that lower uh, radiator hose down there. This one here. Or you can use the uh, drain plug, drain the engine coolant. And then with the um, alternator belt or Serpentine belt installed. Okay, there's a pulley down there. See if I can get it in the the pulley uh, okay, this thing here where my hand is right here this hole right here you put in a uh, 3 8 breaker bar and and you push push down on, on this pulley here this tightens the um, Serpentine belt here tightens that down, and what that'll do is allow you to loosen these bolts. You can uh, unclamp this coolant hose to get it out the way. But um, what I did, I pushed down on it, tightens it, and you can turn these bolts out of here. Move these bolts, and uh, that takes off the water pump pulley. And I find that to be the easiest way to get off. You also have to remove this cover here. There's a little nut right in the middle, underneath it. You remove that, and that allows you to access the water pump. Okay, after removing the pulley, you can access the water pump, which is held on by these bolts. I think there are five of them. These require a uh, eight millimeter socket. Just remove those, and I have to tap the, the water pump a little bit, and it should, should come right off. Okay, with all the uh, bolts removed. I'm going to tap on it. And it pops it off. This is the uh, water pump here. Let's take a look at it and see if there's any signs that might have been leaking. Might have been leaking from here, but uh, another technician said. When you remove that, you want to clean off the surface here. Make sure all the old gasket has been removed. This one looks like it's pretty clean, but I'm going to just scrape it anyway without cutting into it. You don't want to do that in order to uh, give it a good seal.
Okay, with the new water pump, you want to make sure that the gasket is lined up with, with all the bolts. So you got to probably turn it, keep turning it around until it lines up. And then when you put it in place, make sure that these bolt holes all lined up because it has to be on a certain way. And then you uh, just bolt it in there. Okay, with the water pump installed, the five bolts torque them down to the foot, uh, inch pound torque. Just put this pulley on, then you know, line it up with the uh, bolt holes and just bolt it on. I'm going to use a strap to tighten it down so it'll be easier to get off the next time. Alright, this one is with this is the, the orange strap you can use. This will hold it in place and you just put the wrench on, you just turn the wrench down to tighten it. You can also do this to, to take the bolts off if using the serpentine belt way doesn't work. Just to hold the uh, pulley still while you uh, turn the bolts. Okay, after tightening down the pulley, put the uh, serpentine belt on. And that's the water pump. Make sure all the hoses are connected. And um, when you're adding the antifreeze, you want to open the bleeder screws. Um, this one right here is on the upper radiator hose where the thermostat is. Get it like this, the air intake. And this one here. You open those two up, fill it, and uh, until you see the, the water start to come out of there, and you want to close that one, and it's supposed to come out of this one once you close that one, and then you just run the engine till it's hot, and then top it off after that, and that's uh, how you bleed the system after you install the water pump on a uh, 3100 or a 3.1 engine. Thank you.